Hi viewer, I welcome you to Dream TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through mathematics form 3, lesson number 20. The topic it is sounds. I'm your tutor, Lucy Modoni. Welcome. Let us look at our lesson goals today. We are going to rationalize the denominators. Oh. We start by defining the process. The process of expre expressing a fraction having a sound in the denominator in just a way that there is no sound is called rationalizing the denominator. So that is the work. We are trying to ensure that the denominator does not have sound. The denominator is a natural number. It is a decimal. So that one now we are rationalizing the denominator. For example, I have a sand there, one divided by sand two. Sand two plus one divided by sand seven. We want to ensure that sand two is not there. So what do we do? We multiply by the sand on both the numerator and the denominator. So in that case, uh, you open to multiply the, num the numerator by sand 2 and the denominator by sand 2. So what are we going to get? We are going to get sand 2, because sand 2 times 1 it is sand 2, being the numerator, and the denominator is supposed to be sand 2 times sand 2. Remember we said sand 2 times sand 2 is supposed to be 2. Already, there is no sand under the, in the de denominator. Our value is 2. The same case, when we operate the second one, after multiplying the numerator and the denominator, you are going to get, you multiply by sand 7 and sand 7, you are going to get a 7 being the denominator. So that is the process we are referring to it as ra rationalizing the denominator. We go to the next example. You are given rationalize the denominator. 8 divided by sad 5 plus sad 2. This one now you happen to get that we have two terms in the denominator. We don't operate like the one that we end the only one. So what do we do? To rationalize the denominator in this case, we need to get the conjugate of the denominator. How do we get the conjugate of the denominator? We take the denominator, we change the sign, addition or subtraction, we change that sign to be opposite. If at all it was addition, it becomes negative. If at all it was uh, subtraction, it becomes positive. So in my case, the conjugate of the denominator becomes sad 5 minus sad 2, since we have changed the positive to be negative. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator uh, with the conjugate of the number. So in that case, what do we get? After multiplying by the conjugate you are going to get, the denominator becomes a... Uh, uh, a natural number, it doesn't have the sad. Since when I take sad 5 times sad 5, uh, I'm going to get 5. Then when I take sad 5 times sad 2, the first case, I'm going to get negative sad 10. So in that case, finally, we get negative sad 10, positive sad 10, then 2. So finally, you are going to get the denominator is 3. So then what happens when it comes to rationalizing the denominator. We go to the next one. A situation like this one, what do we do? Fraction signs having a one term expression in the denominator. An example, we have them there. Rationalized by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the, by the denominator. Get that. Uh, let us take an example. This is the real life situation. You are given a cuboid as a square base of area 5 minus 2 sand 5 meters squared. 
and a volume of 4, 35 minus 32 meter cubed. Find the height of the cuboid in the form H plus B, 35 meter, where A and B are integers. So in that case, Remember the volume of the cuboid, how we get it. The formula is supposed to the base area times height. So that is the formula you are going to apply here. Then from there we solve for the h. This is the way. The square base is 5 minus 2 sad 5. Volume is supposed to be 4 sad 5 minus sad 2. Then volume is supposed to be base area times 8, which is given there. Then from there, we divide both sides by the base area. So that is finally what we have. So we rationalize the denominator. After which we rationalize the denominator, remember my denominator is as the negative sign. So whatever I multiply with should have a positive. So that is what I am expecting to have. After doing that, we operate the fractions the way we are supposed, not the fraction, but the bracket normally. So what do we get? 20 35 plus 40 minus 10 minus 4 35. Then 25 plus 10 35 minus 10 35 minus 20. So in that case, whatever we get is supposed to be 16 35 plus 30 divided by 5. So when we divide, you are going to get h is equal to 16 over 5. Sad 5 plus 6. So my A is 16 divided by 5. My B is 6. So that is the way I'm supposed to calculate, to use rationalizing the denominator to get my answer. Activity for today. Work out the length marked Y in the diagram below, leaving your answer in sad form. For reference, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Mathematics Student Book 3. You can also contact us um, through that. You can SMS to us. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. And you can Twitter us. Stay tuned. Thank you.